Update on AOH 1996 Cancer Drug November 2024 Here is a quick update on this new cancer drug. Before diving into today's update, I want to clarify that I am not affiliated with City of Hope or any other clinical trials currently underway. I am not involved in patient recruitment, nor do I have formal connections to these programs. My aim here is simple, to gather publicly available information from trusted sources like cancer.gov and City of Hope and share it with you in a way that's easy to understand. I hope this video provides some insight and perhaps a bit of hope to those who may benefit from it. I stay dedicated to researching and staying up to date on cancer drug developments. I regularly check resources like cancer.gov and bulletins from institutions such as City of Hope to track any breakthroughs, updates, or even setbacks. Currently, it looks like AOH 1996 has shown promising early results, and the research team is now focusing on safety concerns as they move to a new trial phase. Developing a cancer drug is an incredibly complex and costly journey, requiring years of rigorous testing by top experts in the field. Progress is often slow, with many scientific and regulatory hurdles along the way. There are also political and institutional elements that play a role in this process, though that's beyond the scope of this video. As an independent medical news researcher and content creator, my mission is twofold, first, to build this channel as a reliable source of well-researched information, and second, to reach and hopefully help someone who may find this information valuable. The research I put into these videos takes many hours and is unpaid, but it's a labor of love. So, please subscribe and like so I can continue the work. With that, here's the latest on AOH 1996. AOH 1996 is an investigational drug designed to target a protein called PCNA, which is essential for DNA replication and repair in cancer cells. By inhibiting PCNA, AOH 1996 aims to disrupt the uncontrolled growth of tumor cells, offering a potential treatment for patients with refractory solid tumors that don't respond to standard therapies. Here is a short clinical trial overview. The phase 1 trial for this drug began in 2022, with goals to evaluate safety, determine the maximum tolerated dose, MTD, and assess early effectiveness. The trial is taking place across multiple locations, including City of Hope Comprehensive Cancer Center in California, with additional sites in Arizona and Texas. Primary objectives for the trial include 1. Determining the MTD, and dose limiting toxicities, DLTs, of AOH 1996. 2. Establishing the recommended phase 2 dose, both as a standalone treatment and in combination with tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs, for non-small cell lung cancer. TKIs are a type of drug that blocks enzymes called tyrosine kinases, which control cell functions like growth and division. In certain cancers, these enzymes can become overactive, leading to uncontrolled growth. TKIs help slow or stop this process. Secondary objectives include evaluating the pharmacokinetics of AOH 1996. Pharmacokinetics is the study of how a drug moves through the body, covering 1. Absorption of the drug and how the drug enters the bloodstream. 2. Distribution of drug ND how it spreads to different tissues and organs. 3. Metabolism, meaning how the body chemically breaks it down, often in the liver. 4. Excretion, meaning how the drug or its byproducts leave the body. This understanding helps doctors determine safe and effective dosing schedules for patients. So, here are the exploratory objectives. 
The study also monitors specific markers like gamma H2 acts and MIC to see if AOH 1996 is impacting cancer cells as intended. 1. Gamma H2 acts as a marker that appears when DNA is damaged. When scientists see increased levels of gamma H2 acts, it suggests that the drug may be damaging cancer cell DNA, potentially stopping their growth. 2. MYC is a protein that acts like a switch for cell growth. In many cancers, MYC is overactive. Downregulation of MYC, turning it down, could help slow or stop cancer cell growth. Now, let's go over the current status and developments. As of November 2024, the trial is still ongoing, with the completion date extended to January 2026. This extension likely means that initial findings have been promising enough to justify further investigation and participant recruitment. Although specific results haven't been released yet, the continuation of the trial indicates a positive safety profile and some therapeutic benefit observed in early phases. Let's go over the preclinical findings. Before human trials, AOH 1996 was tested in cell and animal studies. These preclinical studies showed that AOH 1996 could suppress tumor growth, either on its own or in combination with other treatments, without significant toxicity. These findings set the stage for human trials. The continued research on this experimental drug offers hope for patients with refractory solid tumors who have run out of standard treatment options. The ongoing trial and continued patient recruitment underscore the potential of AOH 1996 as a viable new treatment. Patients interested in the trial should consult their healthcare providers or contact the study sites directly. AOH 1996 is an exciting new approach in cancer therapy, targeting PCNA, a key protein in tumor cell proliferation. The Phase 1 clinical trial aims to confirm its safety and potential effectiveness. Although we're still waiting for more comprehensive results, the trial's progression is a hopeful sign of AOH 1996's promise against refractory solid tumors. Now, let's talk about the eligibility criteria, and contact information. For anyone considering participating, here are some eligibility guidelines. 1. You must be 18 or older, with a life expectancy of more than 3 months. 2. Participants need to have solid tumors that haven't responded to standard treatments. 3. For women and men who could conceive, effective birth control is required during and shortly after the study. 4. Medical evaluations will include liver function, kidney function, and other essential health assessments. The trial is currently available in the United States at the following locations. 1. On a Health Research Institute in Scottsdale, Arizona. 2. City of Hope Comprehensive Cancer Center in Duarte, California. 3. Texas Oncology at Baylor Charles A. Salmons Cancer Center in Dallas, Texas, City of Hope's Center for International Medicine also offers support for patients outside the U.S. interested in treatment. They can review medical records, arrange appointments, and assist with travel. For international eligibility details, contact City of Hope directly. Thank you for watching, and I hope this update on AOH 1996 brings valuable insight into cancer research developments.